In the video tutorial advance, how to work with map controls, we will explain you how to use map controls with the Global Atlas client. To illustrate the map control features I prepared a map. Several elements on the screen help to adjust the map extend. We have standard map features which are also available in the Global Atlas client and we have an application map toolbar. Let's identify the standard map functions, you find on the right upper corner standard zooming features. On the lower left corner you can modify the units of measurement. On the lower right corner you can select predefined scales. Let's look into the application map control bar which is located in the middle of the information bar. We have on the left two icons for zooming into the map and zooming out of the map. Next to the zooming you find two arrows. The left arrow can be used to view the previous extent of the map. While you move to the previous map you can then move back to the next map with the right arrow. The right three icons are changing the mode how the mouse or pointing system operates on the map. By default the first icon is activated, this indicates that map navigation is active. The second icon, which looks like a ruler enables a menu for map measurement tools. You can measure on the map distance or area. The last icon with the blue information symbol allows you to switch your mouse to a layer information pointer. Activating this mode allows you to click on the map to retrieve data layer attributes of the selected point. Let's try the zooming function. Click once on zoom in and zooming back out by clicking once on the icon. Let's refer back to the previous map extend. In the standard map control icons you will find also zooming functions. With the standard map control you can use the green arrows to pan the map to the left, right, up and down or to name them geographical correct west, east, north or south. The earth icon in the middle brings you to the default view of the current map. If you want to view a particular region on the map you can use drag and drop to achieve the result. To do so hold the shift key on your keyboard, click on the start point of your selection and pull the mouse over your selection. Release the mouse button when finished with the selection. You can also use drag and drop on the map to use scroll through the map in any direction. Click once with the mouse and hold the mouse key while moving the mouse or pointing system. You can change the unit of measurement on the map by selecting an entry in the menu. You can change your map by selecting a predefined scale. To maximize the map on your screen you can hide any time the layer tree window by clicking the arrow to the left next to the layer tree window. Here is a quick summary to the how to use map controls. This finalizes the tutorial advance, how to work with maps controls.